everybody, it's Heather and welcome to Mystic Musings. Uh, today is a Freaky Friday upload and I wanted to talk about something that I personally hate, which is dolls. Uh, when I was setting up, I was like, oh, it'd be so great to have a doll in the frame. And then I remembered I don't have any dolls because I hate them. Um, I remember I was probably seven or younger and I was at my grandmother's house just flipping through channels, sipping on some sweet tea, and I came across uh, this black and white movie. I think it was called Friday the 13th, um, but it's not the one that you're thinking of. Uh, and these two guys were in this store, and they pick up this doll, and the doll turned around and suddenly, magically, had, I guess, really sharp fingers. I don't know how this worked. And she cut the jugular with one of these guys, and then there was blood everywhere, and it <laughs> totally scarred me. Um, up until that time, I actually collected porcelain dolls, and I had this one that unfortunately looked very, very similar to that doll that was in the movie. And um, we were painting my house at the time, so I was in the guest bedroom where we had um, all the dolls set up. And <laughs> I turned all of them to face the wall, because I didn't want them looking at me uh, and I was so convinced that I was gonna wake up one morning and they were all just gonna be facing back to me. Uh, so not surprisingly, I threw all of them away uh, and couldn't wait to move back into my room when it was done being painted where there were never any dolls because I officially decided that they were all murderous. <laughs> so today we're gonna talk about the five creepiest haunted slash possessed dolls that you can buy on eBay. Cause who wouldn't want one? Me, I wouldn't want one. Um, so the first one, the, I'm not gonna do this in any specific order because I feel like uh, I'm more interested to see what you guys think is the least creepy to the most creepy. Um, I, um, so first we have Bianca. Um, when I found her, uh, I was reading her description, wasn't super impressed. Uh, pretty much just read like this person had figured out who was in this doll and um, wasn't that amazing until <laughs> it got real weird. Um, so apparently the story, don't know how this woman knows it. Bianca was only 10 uh, when she was hit by a car near her home. She died, decided, hey, if I'm going to reincarnate myself, why not take this doll Is my vessel um and the the seller actually said that if you decide to be bianca's spirit keeper um then here's some things you're going to experience one you might see colors she sounds really lovely you're just going to see colors around her uh especially when she walks by you no i no i don't want that don't want a doll just walking past me oh hey <laughs> You should be aware that she's very spoiled, so look out for that one. Um, she also speaks English, French, great. So kids, you're in school, need a tutor. Bianca. She calls out random names at night, and she makes wind sounds. I don't, I don't know what that means. I guess like, <sighs> uh, wind. Are you afraid of the dark? Don't worry, Bianca will get up and check on you. That's gonna help, it's really gonna help. She smells of mangoes. I feel like that's actually pretty great. Like if you're gonna have a possessed doll, if it walks past you and smells like mangoes, thank you. Thanks Bianca, so sweet, love them, love mangoes. Sometimes she'll make you cry which sounds not good, um, but the seller said that it's because you get so overwhelmed with memories and emotions and you're just sometimes gonna get a little, little emotional. Gonna cry a little. I don't think that sounds nice either. I don't know why this woman could possibly be wanting to part with her. She likes to tell jokes. She also runs away from home, so uh, make sure to let your neighbors know that if they see a doll wandering around the neighborhood, She's yours. She, I don't understand how she could walk around anywhere because her eyes are painted shut. So, I don't know, maybe she's like a bat. Maybe she, she smells or hear, do bats hear? Bats hear where they go. 
Maybe Bianca has great ears. She didn't hear that car coming when it hit her. Sorry, that was too soon. Okay. She loves the cross she wears, doesn't want you to remove it. And she's only $55 with a $14 shipping fee. She's in Florida. Good luck. Next we have Lauren. She, she has a repressed lesbian suicide fantasy. Who doesn't, really? Um, she was born in 1977. She was quite the tomboy. Uh, she even chewed tobacco and drank heavily. Uh, her mother assumed she was a lesbian. Apparently no one wanted to say it. She didn't want to admit it. Um, the seller explained that uh, she often, not the seller, but Lauren, often fantasized about sex with women and really just did not enjoy penetration. Lauren. She owned a lot of cats, never married. I feel more like we're talking about the seller now. I guess that's just me. Um, when she did manage to seduce a woman, it's not exactly what I would call a fun date. Uh, she would bring these women back to her hotel, uh, wherever she was staying at the time. She would draw a bath, and when the woman would get in the bathtub, Lauren would slit her throat. Not nice. It's not nice. That's why you had a lot of cats. I guess she let this, this seller know that she loved to watch the blood pour from these women. Ah, uh, uh, nah. So, if you choose to buy Lauren, who eventually went on to commit suicide because her life wasn't super fun, here's what you're gonna experience. Cats are gonna follow you around. She'll watch you undress. Uh, she'll make you feel 50 shades of guilty and she will penetrate your dreams, pun completely intended. Uh, lesbians will appear in your life willy-nilly, which I don't think sounds that bad. I mean, you know, if you could gain some friends with this, um, talk about conversation starter like, hey, you're gay, so is my doll. She murdered people. What could go wrong? And she's a steal at only $55. We have Penny, born severely unwell and handicapped. Penny needed feeding and therapy. So far, this doll is just real sad. She died when she was seven, but now she lives in this adorable doll. <sighs> she has a very dark shadow. And I, I don't, what it, she's a very dark shadow. And she likes to bang unseen spoons on the table because she wants you to feed her. Why do people own these things? Maybe a brat, but she smells like flowers. Yay! Penny's interests include being read to, moving around, being touched and held by children. She has real human hair, but fake human teeth. She is I mean, such a bargain if you want a bratty doll who is gonna boss you around and freak you out because she's only $319 and $30 shipping. Happy bidding. This thing is named Esmeralda. Feel like even the hunchback would run from her. Uh, why does she have a stage name? Is she a prostitute? Is she a really successful stripper? Is she a not so successful stripper? With a face like that though, I can't imagine that she would make a lot of money. Sorry. Uh, the seller says that this gal was given to her in the year of darkness, 1989. I don't no, why 1989 was so dark. Uh, and the soul in the doll was born 
1922. Uh, she was ripe in sexuality. She lived with her well-to-do family in Berlin. When she was just a girl, she would dance and sing Nazi songs and she sounds so great. She would apparently sing these songs about burning unworthy souls. I feel like the people that are selling these, like granted, maybe <laughs> these dolls are really talking to them. Maybe this is what they're saying, but I feel like if not, and this is just the imagination of these people, you need help. Really, it's not good. She, <laughs> she had many, many children with many, many men. She didn't know these men, didn't care about her children, gave them away. She left Berlin after the war and married an American soldier. What a lucky guy. She moved to Michigan and mothered three more children. She was tracked down by one of the German spawns and the spawn murdered her. Uh, should you choose, should you choose to own this doll, you're in luck. She's gonna teach you German. Wow, thanks, Esmeralda. Huh. Uh, she'll give you flashes of her past life. Don't know why you wouldn't want to see those. They sound so fun. She will laugh at you for everything that you do. Which, again, if the buyer, this is just the buyer's imagination and she feels like this doll is laughing at her, I'm so sorry that you feel like your life is such a joke that even dolls would laugh at you. Uh, she'll make fun of the way you talk. She will try to convince you <laughs> to bring her to bars in Germany. <laughs> Which, really, I've been to bars in Germany. I'd bring her. Go. If that's your excuse to go to Germany, take it. She is only $66.60. What a creative use of numbers. Lastly, we have an evil doll in blue. Here is what you get with this blonde bombshell. Laughing, walking, running, knocking, Shadows in your windows, even if your windows are two floors up. Why would you bid on this? Uh, she'll push you downstairs. Fun. Doesn't want to be pushed downstairs by a doll. The doll will spin around to look at you. Uh, you'll be touched at night. Um, covers will fly off you at night. Ghosts. You'll experience ghosts. Uh, voices mimicking your dead relatives. I feel like that's really rude. Super disrespectful. Way to go, doll. Um, poltergeist activity. It's general super fun times. Uh, the doll itself is about 19 years old, but the seller is unsure of who or what is inside of it. Uh, yours for just $50. If you, for whatever reason, bid on any of these. If you win any of these, I think some of them have a buy it now. Please let me know. Um, and if you have any creepy doll stories, send them to me. You can email them to me. You can comment them down below. I'll definitely read them. Uh, I want to do a subscriber story really bad. So uh, if you have creepy doll stories, creepy stories in general, send them to me. Uh, I promise I will look at them. And as soon as I get like a good number, we'll make that video happen. Um, but definitely, definitely hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any dolls, go ahead and throw them away. Okay. Thanks so much. Uh, I will see you Sunday for Spooky Sunday, and we're gonna talk about vampires. How exciting. So I will see you all then. Bye.